year my daughter has a friendship tea. And this year we chose the theme fidgets. Fidgets or puppets, which puppets are just a type of fidget. Now explain to me why are fidgets so popular? Well, um, you can fidget with them, you can play with them, you can trade them with friends. Fidget training is another thing that is very, very popular. And my little one will go to her friend's house. I will get a text message, hey, please, please tell her to bring her fidgets. And she will go either with a bag or a box. And then you have like a fidget board or paper. I and mean, what, is, what is the purpose of that? Well, to put down your fidgets and to um, tell the other person if you want to have it or if you want them to add or to decline. If there is a check mark, which means they accept. There is a plus button, which means you have to add more fidgets. And then there is a X, which, uh, it, which is a decline. Okay, so you don't like it, so you gotta put more stuff. Yeah. Okay. So my little one will go to her friend's house with a bag full of fidgets or a box full of fidgets. And we had fidgets everywhere. So what I decided to do is to make a fidget box and using the lid of the box to make a fidget board. So what I decided to do is to go to the store, buy a storage box big enough for all her fidgets that she likes to trade because apparently there are some that you keep that she likes to trade. And the top of the storage box, I made it into a fidget trading board so she can take her box and she can play and trade all with that box that she's taking to her friend's house. I looked everywhere for a storage box. I found a few, but my dollar store, now it's not a dollar store anymore. It's a dollar and 25 cent store. And they also have like things called dollar plus. And I found this amazing storage container that is already colorful. I was gonna buy like a regular storage box and paint it and put some stickers but this is amazing. I love the colors, $5, you can't beat the price. And I also found, uh, what do you call them, buzzers? Buzzers? Yes, <laughs> exactly, at the dollar store. And they didn't have red. I needed red, green, and blue, or any other color. They didn't have red, but I found orange. And I said, this would be great. Now they all make the same sound. So if you wanna go to the next level, what you can do is you can order the buzzers online and they have different sounds for each buzzer and that will make a great, great storage for exchange, feature trading, <laughs> etc. <cetera. laughs> so explain to me what each color is. So this green button is a button if you press it say they have a fidget that means you accept it okay so you like it and you like what you traded to them if you added something that you really like and they added something that you like but it wasn't worth trading and you wanted more you press this blue button which means add and if you don't like what they gave you or what you gave away you can press this orange button is supposed to be red, but it's orange. To decline. Okay, okay. So let me show you some ideas of what we did for the fidget party. And why don't you choose five of your favorite fidgets? And at the end of the video, she's gonna share those with us and see which ones are they. But let me show you what we did for our fidget party. So for the invitations, to be honest, I just didn't have a lot of time. I got some puppets from the dollar store. I printed a few invitations on my computer, glued them to some pretty cardstock paper, and then I had glued the puppets. Now, if you choose to do this, you have to hand deliver them because otherwise you will need a special box to mail the invitation or extra postage or both. But I think they came out very cute. The girls were so excited when they saw the invitations. Now, I always ask the girls to bring a gift. 
a gift to exchange. And this year, what I did, instead of asking for something sweet, something soft, or something sparkly, I asked them to bring their favorite fidgets. And then we did an exchange game. <laughs> and this is how we went about it. Pop, pop to the right, fidget, fidget to the left. Pop, pop. Okay. Okay. Beep, beep, beep. Pop. 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 Fidget. Pop. 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 Fidget. Fidget. Pop. Pop. Fidget. Fidget. Pop. <laughs> we are good. Go ahead and open your gifts. I know it has dough on it though. Okay, let's see what you got. You got a monkey and a fidget with a ball. You got a spinner with a toucan. And what is this one in the back? It's a mash ball. What did you get? That's a mini needle. I got a little dimple. I got dimple. I got this. And I got this popping. Do you want to know how much time I took packing those things? Got a fidget cube, monkey noodles, and bad putty. Yeah. Okay. My parents have banned me. And why did you get? I got putty, connects, and a poppet, and this. And then what I also made as part of a decoration was a giant heart puppet. Most of the items are from the dollar store. You need foam board, you need balloons. And what I did is, inside of some of the balloons, I put a try again paper. And inside of other balloons, I put a little paper that indicates which bag the girl was gonna take home. You get to pop one of the balloons. Okay, if the balloon is empty, you lose your turn. If the balloon has a little paper that says try again, you try again. And if the balloon has a little ice cream or butterfly or cupcake or unicorn or heart, you get one of those bags that matches well, yours. Everyone get one? Yes. Okay. Now, uh, and then have more features there for you to try. Don't open your bag. Keep your little card until the end, until everyone has one. That one popped. Try again. So she's gonna play by herself the rest of the day. I think the other one. Oh, there we go. Try again. Okay. <laughs> Does he have anything inside? Okay, let's try again. Uh, you lose your turn, but there'll be one for you, don't worry.
the bags, most of them are very inexpensive gifts. Just something to take home or something to trade. I got some fidgets at the dollar store. I got some rock pop candies, which is perfect for a puppet fidget party. And some other goodies that the girls can either take home and trade with their friends. For the food was very, very simple. One thing that I wanted to try this year is to make chocolate fidgets or puppets. And that came out very, very nicely. So make sure you watch that video. It's very simple to make. All you need is a puppet for a mold and some candy melts or chocolate and a little bit of time and you get a beautiful, beautiful result. Now, if you want to see how I made the giant puppet heart for a decoration, or the candy melts puppets. Make sure you check our sister channel, Wonderfully Made, and I'll put the link in the description box. Okay, so have you decided which ones are your five favorite ones? Uh, this one. What are those? They're like little magnets. Uh, you spend a lot of time in there. You can separate them by color or uh, you can make a pattern. That is entertaining. I do like that one myself. What else? I like this dimple. Oh, that is beautiful. With all the little colors, it's a butterfly. Are dimples the most popular ones or no? I don't know. What else? More dimples? Dimples again. Another thing I like is a fidget spinner, which has little pop lights. So you can turn on the lights and spin it. Now, if you had to choose one, which one would you choose? Okay, <laughs> that is cool. That is very cool. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you got some ideas for your next fidget party. And remember to subscribe and like this video. And remember, the sweetest is yet to come. I think it's How'd you do so fast? Practice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Sure. Snap